So you want to be a player, but your wheels ain't fly. You got to hit us up to get a pimped out ride. You got to pimp my ride. Damn right. Hello from my name is Yellen, welcome back to episode 4 of Pimp My Car. Now on today's episode we have Wolfman and it's a bit of a weird one because I was looking through all the submitted cars and this one really stood out because when I seen the name Wolfman I was expecting some big hairy guy and I, I didn't really know what I expect really but uh, then when I seen him you know, he's got the face, and the face is kind of, you know, well, you know, he's got them big bushy eyebrows, he's got a bit of facial hair here, his eyes are quite wide, his nose is all scrunched and messed up, so I guess that's fine, he's also got the wavy hair and everything, um, so you know, that's fine, he also has all the, the body hair and that, and then you get to the attire, and you know, it's a bit like, hmm, it's interesting because he kind of knows what he wants to do, I guess. He wants to have the red and black, obviously. And he wants to be wearing tights and stuff. So, that's fine, that's fine. And honestly, if this had a good attire, this could be a really good call. Because also, if we go into the entrance attire here. And we will see that in a second. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Come on, load up. It takes so long to load. There we go. He also has like a black hoodie. Which makes him a little bit more mysterious and stuff, like he doesn't want to be seen. Which is fine, which is fine. I mean, I don't really personally like hoodies on cars because, you know, it's... Who wears hoodies? The whole point is to be seen, not to be hidden underneath stuff. And uh, it kind of defeats the purpose, but, um... You know, he... His official name here is Wolfman, but then his address name is Stephen the Wolf. <laughs> Stephen the Wolf! <laughs> um... Which is a bit weird. And also, he's a he's a face, again, which I, I disagree with. I don't feel like this guy should be a face. A wolf man! You know, he seems like the dirty tactic type player. And he even gave this guy like the abilities of a dirty player. Like, he has the ring escape. He has the leverage pin. You know, it's like all signs of like a dirty heel guy. Uh, so I don't really understand why he made him face. Unless he just he didn't realise what that was or anything. But, um... You know, also this guy's height is six foot one, which is not a big guy. You would expect this to be like an overweight type of beast guy, and he's not. He's like an average-ish build. Well, he's pretty muscly, I guess, on the arms and chest. But um, you know, he's not big, and yeah, as soon as he did actually mess around with the face mop, obviously to get the face like that. <laughs> I don't really understand the long eye eyelashes, but um. The face morph he did mess with uh, quite a lot, and to get the the stuff the way he wants it, obviously he did mess with it. And same with the the body morph as well. He did mess with that. He, he is using the the just the first body type, but the the chest hair completely gets rid of the abs and uh, makes him look like he he doesn't really have abs at all, which is good really because it kind of uh, fits having the body hair there. But um. I did like the idea of this car, like the the whole Wolfman type thing, uh, but the attire was pretty bad, and I did have to change that quite a lot. So I will be back in a second with the pimped out car. Boom! So there we go. Here is the pimped out car, and you'll be like, "Whoa, what is happening to this guy?" So the first thing you notice, I did make his hair a bit dark. I gave him a lot of facial hair here. Uh, just it's Wolfman. Of course, he's gonna have a beard. I had to give him a beard. Uh, so he's got the dark facial hair, he's got the darker hair, the green eyes, and uh, obviously I had to get rid of them eyelashes that were far too long, but I still kept the bushy eyebrows because of fit, and I made his age a lot more, just to give him them, them wrinkles there, which doesn't actually age him that much if you look, he still looks like he could be like mid 30s, 40s maybe, he doesn't look like he's 61 as I put the age up to, and uh, I think by adding the age, it really gave him that rugged look, especially with the beard as well, instead of just the, the minimalistic facial hair. And next thing you'll notice is the attire. And uh, yeah, well, first thing, I'll just work it down, I guess. I did make the body hair darker. As you can see, it's not as light as it was. I made it as dark as possible, so, you know, that wolfman type thing is given. And, fit, and some hair on the arms as well. 
and now we'll work down a bit. So I did keep the elbow pads and wrist tape the same, I did like the, the combo of them, but the tights, completely different. As you can see, it's got wolf on the side here for Wolfman, and on the other side we have a tribal wolf designed here, and uh, I like it. That took some time to do that pin too, but it's like a tribal wolf on one side and then it says wolf on the other. And then we work further down, I did keep the same kick pads that he had, but I did change the design, so it's just a, a black W there. But I did keep the red and black and then added the red on the back as well. And uh, this this guy is probably my favourite guy that I've made so far. Just because it's so like, such an original idea, I guess, that he had a wolf man. And then I've completely changed changed him. Uh, even, you can tell it's the same guy, but his attire has just been completely pimped out. And he looks like he could be a proper wrestler now. And uh, I like it. I like... I like this one, even though the pain tool, well apart from the wolf on the side, the pain tool is very easy to do, like super super easy pain tools to do, and uh, I'll get to them in a minute, and of course I did have to put the entrance attire on as well, and I did keep the black uh, hoodie that he had, and it still works, especially with the, the tights, the tights complete this look completely, I really like the tights on this guy. And uh, the beard does wonders for him instead of just the the uh, scraggy hair. And he's a wolf man, he's gonna be hairy, so I had to give him a full beard. And uh, of course, I didn't keep Steven the wolf, it's just wolf man now. And I made him from parts unknown out of England, you know. He's like a wolf man, he's creepy, he's mysterious, no one knows where he's from. And of course, I did change him to a heel. And uh, yeah, that is how this guy is. And of course, I did change the hit points. Everyone seems to put the hit points as just 25 for each of them. I made his body super buff and his arms and legs a little bit weaker and his head a little bit stronger as well. And uh, that's him, that's Wolfman. I, oh yeah, I, ch I changed the teeth as well, I forgot about that. Yeah, he's <laughs> missing a few teeth there because he is the Wolfman after all. <laughs> Had to make him miss a few teeth, but that is uh, Wolfman, completely pimped out. And uh, I like it, he is my favorite guy that I've pimped out so far. And I think this attire works really well for him compared to the one that he did have. So I guess I will show you the pen tools now. So here we are at the pen tools and I guess we'll just go along the list of what I did here. So I start off with a, a pretty basic W and uh, you know this took me two seconds you know it's just a W shape and I was just going to use the W as the main design for the car. I was going to have that on the tights just the W instead of saying wolf. So that was the original plan. This was the first pen tool I did for him and you know this was the first thing I did and then secondly I made like wolf eyes, like yellow wolf eyes, but they really didn't work so I just deleted them. It didn't work with the character that I had planned and I had to change up what I was looking at. So instead I decided to make this, which is super easy. Look at it, it's it's super easy. I could recreate it in two seconds and uh, I will. I'll, I'll recreate it now just to show you how easy this was to do. Literally just you go down and make it slightly bigger here. Oh, make sure you don't get it in the middle, otherwise it won't work, and just keep going down like this, all the way to the bottom, and that's it. Make it white, just like that, flip it over to the other side, and then, oh, go back up here. Make it red, that, that's it, that's all I did, but I won't save that, uh, I want the original one there. Oh yeah, and then I did a... Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. That was it. It looks like on there, I did a black outline, but I didn't. And then, this one's simple enough. It's <laughs> a line and then filled in for the other side. So it goes around the other leg. Like, this, that's on one leg, and then that's around the other leg. And then, next thing I did after this was make the wolf. And you can't really see it yet, so I'll fill the colour black. There you go. You can see it a bit better now. And, yeah... This one was a tough design. I did. Just, I googled uh, wolf tribal tattoo, and this came up. This was one of them, and I just recreated it on paint tool uh, with with black, and then I fill colored white when I was finished, so that worked. Because you you can't work with white; it's so hard to see. So um, yeah, this was a pretty tough paint tool to do. It took me about 10, 15 minutes. Well, probably not even that. Probably. It took about 10 minutes, let's say 10 minutes to do this because it is a little complicated here. I was just copying the picture from Google and uh, it worked out well, it really did. But yeah, that's a pretty complicated pen tool there. 
And then after that, I added the design to one leg, I added this to the other leg, and I put the W on, and I realized that just didn't look right. So, I came back in, well, in the pen tool, and I did the, the O there, I did the L, and I did the F, just like that. Simple letter in there, it's nothing special. And then I decided, let's put them all on one pen tool, and I got the W O L, and then, <laughs> I'll even show you here, if I import the F in, where is that? Where's the F? It doesn't quite fit without being, <laughs> without uh, going over the edge, like underneath. So I just put the the W O L like that, put that onto the core, and then put the F on separate <laughs> because it wouldn't all fit in one pen tool, which is fine. So overall, and then of course I did actually use the W design on the kick pads, so I did end up using the W. So overall, I used one, two, three, four, five six pen tools on this car and they're pretty simple apart from the wolf you know it's not hard to make a decent attire with simple pen tools and uh yeah even if you didn't have the wolf literally the lettering with that on the side would do wonders for a car it is really not hard to use pen tool and i really advise people to start using pen tool because it makes your cars 10 times better just even having simple designs like just that on the side of the leg it, it makes things 10 times better so you know please give it a try even just start with the simple designs like that that is not a hard thing to do really simple pen tool is not a hard tool to master um start with simple things and then move on to something like this you know look at google try to replicate things off google it's not too hard and i even did that uh how to make a good call video where i showed you how i make pen tools so even just look at that for inspiration as well and you know, hopefully you'll get some ideas on how to make your cars better. But, we will finally move into the match now. So here's the matchup screen, you can kind of see the differences of the cars. And the facial hair alone makes the face look completely different. You can't, you can tell it's the same guy, but the facial hair completely makes the bottom half of his face look a lot different. And apart from that, you can't really see any differences, but hopefully that will change in the match. So here we are in the match now, Wolfman versus Wolfman. Now let's get a quick look from behind. You can see a big difference there in the tire and same from the front. And then even the face as well, you can kind of see some differences there. The hair's darker and everything is uh, like a brown color. And uh, yeah, I like the changes that have been made. Now a few things that was wrong with this cause moveset. Um, obviously when I make these cars I do copy the movesets over so I can play the matches with them. And I always look at a sneak peek at the finishers, and his finishers were high flying moves. And that just did not make sense to me at all, so I did change up his moveset slightly. The finishers and signatures were some high flying moves, which it doesn't make sense. This guy is like meant to be some beast type guy. You don't see someone who who's like this type of build and stuff do hurricanes and stuff like that. And his signature move was the reverse Frankenstein, which it doesn't make sense for a guy like this to have, so I changed up his moveset. I didn't look through all the moves, so hopefully he doesn't do too many high-flying moves, but um, I did have to change a couple of moves in this guy's moveset. Like that headbutt as well. He had a float over DDT and stuff like that. It's just, it's weird, and it doesn't make sense for a guy like this to have high-flying moves. So I did change a few. And I did change the taunts as well, I think, because they were a bit weird. They were all just the generic taunts where he just raises one arm and stuff like that. So I did change them. And uh, I didn't go through the whole moveset there, so, you know, you could have a few hidden moves here and there where it's a bit weird. So, you know, just, <laughs> you know, if you see any, then that's why. Because I didn't make this moveset. The guy who submitted the call made the moveset and he's give this guy high flying moves for whatever reason. Like that, the float over DDT, I did change that. Uh, because, you know, it doesn't really make too much sense. If you're gonna build a guy like this, then he's, he's not gonna be a high flyer. It's obvious he's not gonna be a high flyer. And uh, it just doesn't make sense. You know, when you're making a moveset, you've just gotta remember stuff like that. Remember your, ca your cause build and stuff. It's the same when you see high flyers using stuff like Batista bombs and all that stuff. It, it doesn't make too much sense. It just it just doesn't. So don't give your guy stuff that just doesn't make sense to his body build. And it just wouldn't happen in real life. You know? I don't know. Especially when you see like the, the seven foot tall cars with uh, 
like 619s and all this stuff. It just doesn't make sense. But whoa, we got. I uh, no, no. Thought we were going for a chill slam there, but he, he does reverse. And a little drop kick. I think I did change that move as well. Oh, there we go. Sidewalk slam, a jammer. Oh. But, uh, yeah. Uh, remember, leave a comment in the comment section which card do you like better? Do you like the, the old Wolfman? Stephen the Wolfman? Or do you like the new Wolfman? <laughs> I, I don't really understand the Stephen the Wolfman. I was fine as Wolfman, but, um, you know, Stephen the Wolfman. Oh, there's an axe handle. No, he reversed it. See, the guy did have like a, a flying crossbody or something like that, and I did have to change it to the axe angle just because it makes more sense. Um, oh, he did have a comeback there, but he wasted it. That, that move, what was that? That that shouldn't happen. He shouldn't be the type of guy to do that. He should be the type of guy to do this, though. Something big and strong down under the knee. Oh, what a move. And what are we going for here? Blackout. Oh, yes, we are. Yes, we are. Let's turn it up. Come on, get up. Oh god, he's got a stand and moonsault? I'm gonna have to change that. <laughs> stand and moonsault on this guy, that just makes zero sense. Oh! Oh, okay, he did a run and then stopped and punched me. Oh. Um, alright. Yeah, like I said, this moveset is a little bit weird. It's a bit messed up. And he's got the heavy on the apron and stuff, which makes you think that he's a big guy and all that. And then he does stand and moonsaults in the ring and stuff. I don't know, this guy. <laughs> Moveset was a bit weird. But the cut itself was a good idea and I instantly had ideas on what to do for this guy. Just with the name Wolfman, sometimes a name is enough for me to get an idea on what to do. And uh, that definitely was the case with this guy. And we got him up again. Oh, breaking his back. Oh my god. Let's get him up. Let's get him back in the ring. Come on, get in. I think this guy is a running signature if I'm right. I can't really... Oh, stop being groggy! There we go. Let's just check. Oh, you reversed it. I'm going to get a finisher. Yeah, I got a finisher. I could finish him. Bounce off the ropes. Left! Oh, boom! He has the catch and spear. That'll do it. One, two, three. There we go. Wolfman. New and improved Wolfman picks up the win there. What a win. With the, the catch and spear. Just launched him into the air. What a move. But, um, yeah, if you want to submit a cutoff for this series, then at the very end of the video, there will be a graphic display on how to upload your car and what type of stuff that you need to put. And then I will check them out, and maybe in an, in an episode in the future, I will uh, pimp your guy. But uh, that will be it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, you know what you got to do. Like the video, subscribe if you aren't already. And other than that, I will see you next time.